Hello fellow problem solvers. So today we're going to be doing a problem from the Balkan Math Olympiad from 2014, problem number one. As just you try this introductory nice inequality problem out for a minimum of 30 minutes, actually at minimum 20 minutes, ideally half an hour to an hour, not more than two hours. If you'd like to go along with us, give this a go for the next 10 minutes. And now let's begin. So what do we have? Let x, y, z be positive integers, positive actually real numbers, such that this is true. Uh, then we need to prove this thing right here. So in order to prove this, there are a couple of things we need to figure out. First, this is not homogeneous, right? This is of degree three, this is of degree one, this is of degree zero. And this also condition isn't homogeneous. This is of degree two of degree one. Now, technically, we could make everything here of the same degree, right? We can multiply, say if you want, here, because this is of degree three, one and zero, you can multiply this side by three x, y, z, and actually this you can multiply by x, y plus y, z plus z, x, this by three x, y, z, this by y, x plus y, z plus z, x, and you can do a bunch of these multiplications to figure out sort of to make them of the same degree. I think to be frank, I would need to first multiply this by x, y, z to the power of three and this by x plus y plus z to the power of three. And this I would multiply by x, y, z squared, three x, y, z squared, and then times x, y plus y, z plus z, x. And then I think, I think I would have things be of the same power. But if you notice that is going to be tremendously, I mean, not maybe, maybe not tremendously ugly, but pretty, pretty ugly as the thing. Now, another thing we could do is we could rewrite this condition here. We could rewrite this as when divide, dividing by x, y, z. This is one over x plus one over y plus one over z is equal to three. And now, instead of, multi instead of multiplying both sides by something big, we can just multiply, say, this, si this side by 1 over x plus 1 over y plus 1 over z to the power of, say, what, what I need to the power of 3. This multiply by this once, like this over 3 once, and not touch this 3 at all. Right? And then it would also be homogeneous, it would be of the same power, and then we could figure out, okay, what it is we actually need to do. Though, before we end up doing that, you just need to like see if you want to go down that route, and it's important if you're in a competition to figure out, can I go down this route, is to ask yourself, how long would it really approximately take you to actually finish everything up if you were to do that? And so the estimate here is, over this over three, so you would first multiply everything, say, by 27. So then multiplying this, you could write, instead of 27, you could write this cubed. And then multiplying three variables with one over x times plus one over y plus one over z cubed. That's one over x plus one over z plus one over y cubed has how many variables? You have an x cubed z cubed and y cubed, you have an x squared y, and x squared z, and the other two, and then you have x, y, z. So you have 10 different combinations of x, y, and z that you need to multiply through by all of these. You need to take account of that, so you'd have about 30 things you're multiplying through on this side. On this side, it would be a lot less. And then maybe you know, there's something you can do with that to actually probably a lot of stuff would cancel out at that point. Maybe, like the three actually would be moved on to this side, maybe that would be much nicer. Though actually here would be cancel, a lot of it would be canceled. You would have, when multiplying this by this, you would cancel out a lot of stuff, but you would still have things to work with. And then you need to figure out the thing that you are left with. How are you going to recombine it? Now I'm saying this all as a hypothetical. I don't want to do this but I'm giving you a mental model for how you can figure out, okay, this is what I'm going to do to be able to 
solve the problem. Like those are the sort of the steps. But here for me, the thing is, first, let me write it as this. The second thing, this minus three, it's an inequality. Let me put this on this side and see if I can recombine these things. And then the next thing is, wait a second, this three is equal to this. What does the inequality become? It becomes x squared y plus y squared z plus z squared x plus instead of three, I'll write this because this I may be able to use in some AMGM type of situation. That's literally my thinking. I have a 2x, 2y, 2z. Maybe there's a way to combine them, to combine them in pairs. Plus one over y plus one over z. Now my question for you is, we need to prove this is greater than or equal to 2x plus 2y plus 2z. Now is there any sort of way that you could think about combining these to get that? And note, if you're taking one of these of degree 3 and of degree minus 1, when you combine them together, you add them up, what you will get on the other side is going to be of the of the power 3 minus 1 over 2. And that's the power you will get when you square root them. Okay? That's actually something I've never considered until now, that when you take A and G M, the power of the other side is going to be the arithmetic mean, I believe, of the things on this side, or the powers of this side, which I think cool. But what is the point? Is there an, and that would give us a power of 1, so the thing we sort of need on this side. Now, I invite you to pause for 5 minutes and see if there's any way you can recombine these things. And the answer is, well, you can go ahead, I have x squared y. I'm going to get rid of one of these two. Let me get rid of the y. So let me do x squared y plus 1 over y. This is by amgm greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of x squared y over y, which is 2 times the square root of x squared, which is 2x. And now you see, we are quickly done. We just do this now. Cyclically, we do this cyclically, yes, cyclically is the term. 2y, 2z squared x plus 1 over x is greater than or equal to 2z. You add them up and we get the inequality, which we've then proved. Now the second part says determine when the equality holds. So I invite you to pause for a few minutes and I'll meet when does the equality hold. And the answer is that you want to be specific to make sure that you don't lose any points. You say if the inequality hold the inequality holds true here, if and only if it holds true in every single one of these points. Well, realistically, what you need you don't need an if and only if you just need to say if it holds here, it must hold in every one of these cases. And given I'm using AMG, yeah, it must hold if x squared y is equal to 1 over y, which is the same as x squared y squared is equal to 1, which is the same as xy is equal to 1. And then cyclically, what I have is that I need to have, in the same way I need to have x times z is equal to 1, and these two things imply that y is equal to z and from there on we get that what's it called from the y z equals one we get y is equal to z is equal to one which then implies x is equal to one so the equality holds true if and only if all of these x y and z are one and that finishes up the problem you've said you've made a discussion you've said that it, if it holds true here it must hold true here ergo the only time it holds here is when these are equal, these all being equal to one another imply x, y, y, z, z, x are all equal to one. Like their multiplications are equal to one. When you multiply pairs of them, they're equal to one. And that implies that x, y, and z are equal. Given the problem condition and given this, it means they must be equal to one. And the problem condition holds true. This is, there you have equality here. And that finishes up the problem, really. And... This is just a technique problem right now. You know, you try out inequalities and you'll sort of notice this as, as you try more inequalities, you'll get better at this. And as always, thanks for problem solving.